Hello, my name is Russell Myers. Welcome to Issues Unite. I have spoken on this channel before uh, on several occasions about food insecurity and uh, even a coming famine. I mean, a global famine. And the evidence for this continues to rise. Now, last year we saw uh, various events in which some of which continue even now um, for the second year in a row there are mass locust swarms that are invading South Africa all the way up to Asia in other words China that are destroying you know thousands of hectares of crops and this last year we saw droughts and weather events that destroyed crops from the American Midwest to the West um, floods and that destroyed the entire rice crop and in China the, the locusts destroyed most of their wheat and corn crop and rains destroyed their uh, rice crop which has three harvests and it destroyed all three harvests well now this year the locust swarms are back um, of course, we have yet to see what the weather is going to be like. We've already seen uh, severe weather that in the American Midwest and West that has destroyed much of the winter wheat crop. Uh, right now in Australia, they are suffering an invasion, a plague, if you will, of mice um, that are invading not just the um, not just the crops but it's destroying entire crops they're also invading the cities uh, there was one grocery store that has that noted that they have been they have caught 600 mice in a single night um, so now we've got one more thing going on in the uh, American West from Louisiana up to Wyoming and all the way to the West Coast what is being termed a mega drought. Now this has been going on for years if you look at water levels for major reservoirs they are very consistently down uh, to a to critical degrees. This doesn't just affect only the crops. It also affects water supplies as well. I used to live in New Mexico where every year we were considered in a drought and this has effects such as uh, higher water bills they do limit the water bills to a point, but if you go beyond a certain point, then you pay a fine. And sometimes you can't help that if you suffer something like a, uh, a water pipe leak, which happened to me. Uh, I, I had a water pipe break why from freezing while I was at work on a 12-hour shift and I didn't know about it until I got home and could shut off the water but by then uh, you know it had spewed hundreds of gallons of water it wasn't like I had a swimming pool I was filling up but yeah I got hit with a really high water bill so and and if you don't pay that water bill then your water gets shut off. Now I'm a nurse and I it, 
was it wasn't easy, but I pay at the time. But I was able to pay the water bill and keep the water on. But imagine being on a lower income scale, and and being hit with such a thing. Plus, you got the cost of uh, repairing the damage. So, um, luckily, my water pipe leak was outside. Yeah, so there wasn't any structural damage. I just had to fix the pipe. But if it happened inside your house, then the damage is much worse. And the cost is unbelievable. We've already seen millions of Americans in line for food banks in the past year. With the economy, employment, I don't care what numbers they throw at you, the even Jerome Powell has said that the real unemployment rate is more like 10%. And I have presented evidence on this channel that it is much higher. Now, if you think that uh, the cost of... Uh, let me <laughs> reorganize here. Now, of course, lower... Uh, crop yields result in higher prices and that makes it harder for people on the lower income scales to even access food. Now if you think this is only a problem for the United States you're sadly mistaken. Uh, the lower the crop yields are globally the more everyone is going to pay. Last year China saw increases in some food supplies increased by 25 percent. Yeah, can you, you know, so far uh, official numbers for increases on groceries in the United States have been stated as somewhere around 8 percent. Can you imagine tripling the cost, uh, that cost, that increase to 25 percent? if your grocery bill went up by a full 25%. Some people are barely able to afford groceries now, like I said, millions of Americans in line for food banks. But it becomes even worse when uh, you look at other countries that are, you know, lower income countries, have higher unemployment, and even what food is going to be available to them is a considerable humanitarian crisis and the UN agrees and they are predicting mass food shortages globally this year to crisis levels. So all of this comes down to we are going to see increases in food prices. We are going to see less on the shelves. Some people are going to be hoarding again. And um, I, I can't really blame them if they can afford that. Um, you know, to a certain degree. To a certain degree. You know, I, I've got my own stores of some dry goods uh, that, you know, I that stored up last year before all of this began, and I advised other people to do the same thing. No, I didn't stock up on toilet paper. Um, it's like not beyond what I would need in the short term. We are going to be facing tremendous challenges. Some of this is made worse by uh, the insistence on organic crops. Um, I'm not really saying anything against organic crops, but no matter what metric you use, the um, output of organ organic crops is considerably lower 
than standard crops. When you try to grow them in a, a drought area, you know, the loss can be as much as 80%. I expect there to be a lot more loss in the American West this year because of all of the crops that were stored up, discarded, etc. And all of the slaughtered animals that were buried, well, those don't just cease to exist. What happens is that now you wind up with rodents and insects that feed on those uh, items that were buried or uh, just left to, uh, you know, left to rot. So what you discard this year increases the rodent and insect population this year. So it's very possible we could wind up with uh, locust swarms, which were in South America last year. So far, I have not heard of locust swarms in South America this year, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. That may be only related to the weather conditions as yet. And how, and we, there have been events where South America suffered um, insect swarms that spread up through Mexico and into the United States. It may take a couple of years, but they can very easily make their way here. It may not happen this year, but then if it happens next year, we have a, we had a shortage last year, whether real or contrived, spreading into this year with droughts and a low rainfall in many areas during the winter or snowfall. And then it spreads into this year, into next year, if we have locust infestations. These are very real problems and we need to be prepared for it. I, I'm, you know, as far as the organic versus um, non-organic crops, we may just have to, uh, you know, stop that stress on the organic crops because of the need of the populace. Yeah, if if you want to pay five dollars a pound for tomatoes or eight dollars a pound for potatoes. You know, if you've got the money, well, you know, yeah, that's privilege. But what about the family that's living on minimum wage? When people get desperate enough, this is going to cause major problems, major problems. And we need to recognize that before it happens. China last year started storing up additional uh, emergency food stores the government was uh, storing up and they're still continuing that. They place the security of their country over the cost of doing this as compared to the United States where we have a uh, you know, strategic oil reserve, but we don't have a strategic food reserve. China has a strategic food reserve. So, this is something that we've got to pay attention to right now. Be aware of it. And I, I don't know what else to say. It's something that I just want people to be aware of. Please share this video, talk about these subjects. If you can, please donate a dollar a month to help expand the channel. I'll catch you in the next one.